Hey guys, this is Jeremy and I have another quick unprogrammed episode for you guys where we take a video for Church Mag completely unedited in this process. I got five minutes to talk, so here we go. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about a question that was asked that I think it's really important to be able to discuss what does this mean and, and this is really going to be a thought provocation for you guys to see what do you guys think, what conversations could come out of this. So I was asked recently, if I were to do a talk in front of a bunch of people at a conference, um, what would I talk about as far as church tech, as far as everything I do with church mag, social media, communication, stuff like that, what would it be? What would the discussion be about? And I, I really thought about it and I, ha I came up with two questions or two comments in that process. The first one was what people are really connecting with and then the other one that I really have a passion for but not necessarily everybody wants to have a conversation about the First one is the, the one that I really have the passion for that I would love to talk about though I don't know if people would necessarily connect. It's one of those what you need to hear but maybe not necessarily what you want to hear is why do people love the hacking process? The how do I hack the church IT? How do I get the best church communication stuff? We talked about that on a previous unprogrammed episode. I encourage you to go check that out if you want. The other one that I thought about that I think a lot of people are really connecting with this process is how do you do authentic uh, strategy driven social media online presence for your church tech team and the the big things that I think about when I have this conversation that are coming out in this dialogue that I have a church mag is we have the devotional that's out so we have the podcast where we talk about women and technology we have the articles on pornography within church tech and how do we do that best and you guys are connecting with that so much the ability to really engage with that process, that authenticity, that how in the world do we do discipleship? How do we evangelize online? I think you guys are eating up really well. Now, that being said, I think there has to be a real thought process that goes behind that. It's not just something that you would do to say, okay, should I be on social media for Snapchats and is there a way I can kind of get out of it? Um, we talked about that on a podcast episode where if you have a whole strategy put together, you can piecemeal and module that whole process however you want. And if you don't have the time to do that, to do your strategy really well, then you ignore that process. I think within that strategy, you have to understand how to do event planning. You have to understand how to do discipleship, evangelism. You have to really understand what it means to cultivate that response. What does it mean for Christians to be online? I think all those conversations come out in that process, which really, at the very heart of it, breaks down to authenticity. When we talk about these conversations in a non-digital sense, when we're interacting with people, we have so much literature out there that says, how do I do this well? And I think in the most part, that can translate over, except we have to put that digital aspect onto things. We're not necessarily thinking about what's the best way to evangelize in 140 characters. I think we have those brochures that people ignore. I think that we then say, well, we need to have a conversation and dialogue and develop that relationship. Is that possible on social media? People have said yes, and other people have said no. We haven't fleshed out this process. Can you do discipleship over Google Plus Hangouts? Is that an actual feasible process? Can you relate to people and get down to the nitty gritty of stuff, feel like you have that authentic relationship with someone, and really move forward. And so I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in this conversation. Do you think it's possible to do all of the different authentic processes within church tech for your church that you would be doing elsewhere? Discipleship, evangelism, service, social justice. I think the idea of social justice is a completely unexplored process. Women in technology, we've been talking about this. Is it something that we need to address in a completely different manner because of online and technology? So I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Leave your guys' comments down below. Engage with this. What thoughts pop to mind? What questions pop to mind? Do you think this is a stupid thing that we should even be talking about? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And we will catch you guys next time. Bye.